Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how we construct this uh, uh, Tevita Pass paper question, how to respond to this Tevita Pass paper question, which has got, uh, I think, three different topics in one, under plane geometry. So here we have a polygon, which is a six-sided polygon. We've been given the length, and then we have this line and this line that are touching so these two lines that are touching as a tangent to this circle and there's also uh, this point so it is coming from this point to this circle as a tangent and this other one is coming from this point to this circle as a tangent and then we have uh, this um, profile here which is um, a semi-ellipse so this one is under ellipse so uh, let's see let's look at the question and um, hear what uh, wire or what is required of us okay so the question says the figure below shows a company logo draw the figure to full size showing clearly all your constructions okay so let's start so we're going to start with this line we the, this horizontal line we create this center so these two center lines and also we draw this so that we we draw with the centers and what will remain is just the construction so the first step is we'll draw a center line let's say we'll start from here okay so a horizontal line and let's draw another line which is a vertical so the vertical line okay so we have this center here which is this one and then we know that there's another line which is horizontal and that should be 70 millimeters from this line or from this center so we can measure 70 millimeters along this line so you get your uh, divider so you open to 70 so from 0 to 70 so is that one there so here we mark a point to represent 70 is this one here okay and then here we draw another center another horizontal line is a center line okay so we draw a center line here Just draw it like that okay so now we let's draw the the polygon and the circle outside there so we know that since this is a six-sided polygon we know that the, we can either be given the radius of the circle which is inscribed in the polygon or the length as we have been given here so the length is 30 millimeters it means even the radius of the circle here should be 30 millimeters so you just get your compass open to 30 millimeters place it at the center there and then draw the circle so first step we get our compass so the compass opens to 30 millimeters Thirty. and then Okay, and then you stand here, you strike an arc this side, you strike another arc this side, again, stand there, you strike an arc, you strike another arc. So since this is a, is a uh, hexagon, a six-sided polygon, 
means when you get the radius, which is this same radius, you stand there, strike an arc, stand there, strike an arc, strike an arc throughout those throughout the circle it will give you a six-sided polygon so for a six-sided polygon the only thing that is remaining is for you to draw um, lines connecting the it's for you to draw lines connecting the points so from here we'll draw a line Okay, so we have our polygon, so the polygon and the circle around it. The next point is for us to draw the ellipse. So for the ellipse, we've been given the major axis and the minor radius. So we can use the concentric circle method. So we're going to draw two concentric circles or two concentric semicircles. So the first one we draw a semicircle that is um, from this center and then we open our compass to the radius of uh, 40 so 40 okay 40 so we draw a semicircle from this point and, and another one since this is the diameter, it is the, the major axis, so we open it to 60, which is half of 120, and then draw another semicircle from the same point. Since we're using concentric circle method, so from the same point, we draw another one, and then we can divide this semicircle into a number of equal. The next step is you divide this um, a semicircle into a number of equal parts. For example, I'm going to divide it into six equal parts. So from here, just open to the radius. So I'll strike an arc here. And from here, I'll strike an arc here as well as on this side. Then I'll come here, strike an arc. There, so it has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts, and then from there, um, I'll draw lines from the center of the circle to each part, each each point. So I'll draw faint lines. point so i can i can have these um points numbered we can say this one will be our zero outside so one two three four five and six also inside we have zero so zero one two three four five and six like that so at each point on the outside circle i'm going to draw vertical lines lines that will be parallel to this axis here so start from this point so just lines that are parallel to this line so from this point we have that a line like that i'll move to the next point i'll draw another line 
I'll move to this one here since we already have a line. I'll just move to this one. I'll draw a line. And another one here. Just like that. And then at each point on the uh, inner circle, I'll draw lines that are parallel to this one. So for this one, you find that uh, they are aligned, for example, 1 and 6, 5 and 1, I mean 0 and 6, 1 and 5, 2 and 4, like that. So it's just a matter of connecting these two points. So this one, okay, be connected to that one there. And then even this one here, draw a line going towards the bigger circle, like this. Okay, and then my profile, the, the profile of the ellipse, this one will be traced by moving from this point to that point so these are the points that I'm interested in and then we have a point there and then we have a point there and another one there and another one there so for this one you can either use French curves French curves like um, these here or you can use freehand so for this one I'm going to use my freehand I'll just start from here Okay, so that is the profile of the ellipse. And then the next point is just for us to draw these tangents. So when you look at this tangent, it's just a tangent that is touching a point, a specific point, which is this point or this point and a given circle there. So for you to draw this type of a tangent, uh, you have to join the point to the center of the circle which the tangent is touching. So for example, I'll draw a line from this point to the center of the circle okay so even here you can do the same so let me draw okay let me draw this line like that and then the next step is you will bisect the, the line for example this one or this one so this bisect this one you just open your compass to a radius that is more than half so, for this, and this here, here, yeah. strike an arc, strike an arc there. So, even from this side, you can strike an arc here and there. Okay, so. Here we connect these two points, the straight line. Also, here it is passing through the same point, so these two points with the straight line. Okay, now we have the centers, so it's just a matter of drawing the semicircle. So you open to any of the endpoints so for example here we're only interested in um, we're only interested in the point where the line is meeting with I mean the arc is meeting with the circle which is this point this should be a point of tangency even here when you open your when you open your compass to that point even here we're only interested in that point there though you can draw a full semicircle if you want but you're only interested in this point here so at this point you just join this point to 
that point with the straight line it will be a tangent even here just join this point to that point and there you have your profile or template which is the company logo thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already